Good morning, folks. We've got several items to hit today. Of course, I know many of you will be looking to see the eclipse, and I hope that's a wonderful show for you. Let's run down the top science news, and we'll start with the last 24 hours on our star. We were once again without significant flaring or eruptive activity as the biggest sunspots are still on the other side of the sun. But we have several plasma filaments to keep an eye on, just not quite as many as when yesterday began. Hopefully you could see that activity occurring on the northern incoming quadrant here, top left. There were some minor filament collapses and shifts of others, pretty much the most benign things filaments can do. It's usually much more eruptive type of destabilization. We'll be watching the rest of them today. I mentioned the eclipse, and I want to briefly remind everyone that there is no scientific rationale for anything scary happening during the eclipse, including earthquakes. I wouldn't put it past our ridiculous government to do something, but all in all, the hype appears to be another intelligence test, kind of like they did with the virus back in 2020. Interesting bit up next, the atmospheric phenomenon known as a glory, concentric rainbow colors in the atmosphere. It's often seen on Earth. It was spotted once on Venus, but never anywhere else until now. They spotted it on an exoplanet 600 light years away and say it must mean there are perfectly spherical particles there that have remained stable for quite a long time. Link to learn more is found below. We've got about the millionth confirmation that major cycles of El Nino and La Nina are forced by solar activity, ENSO. We've seen it on an annual scale and on millennial time scales, this being closer to the latter, and it helps explain major changes in precipitation patterns that lead to historic droughts and floods, especially with how it impacts the monsoons. Last but not least, folks, another reporting of unexpectedly strong induction effects during solar activity. This study looked at northeastern Alberta, Canada, especially near Edmonton, where the scientists were dumbfounded by how strong the electric current surges were through the ground during the solar storm. If you don't remember, this was one of the record auroral events of 2023, and it correlates with that 2023 magnetic anomaly from the paper we saw last week, confirming the geomagnetic pole shift is underway and speeding up. Observers paying close attention must be putting the puzzle pieces together quite nicely now. Another shout out for the in-person event, April 16th, Tuesday, we have the Observer's Lunch in Colorado Springs. The ticket link is found below, food is included, and we'll be discussing the ongoing events and have a Q&A. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.